Hello internet world, this is Ace here, coming in for a Thor vlog ever. So, yeah. So today is Christmas Eve, so I'd say happy holidays to everyone. And, yeah. I can't wait for the holidays to be over with already. <laughs> I'm sure some of you agree, and some maybe not so much. <laughs> So anyway, done with business. So last week, um, I showed you my um, Transformers helmet, and I was in the middle of the process of painting it, and I said I was going to show you a video of me um, painting it. Well, sadly, um, I kind of got overwhelmed and went ahead and did it anyway without filming it. So here it is right now. Pretty good job so far right now. A lot of detail in there. It's turning out better than I thought actually. Got a long way to go with it yet. So you gotta put bells and whistles on it yet. And the paint job's pretty much done right now. It's got a few less details to the ears. So yeah. Show you right there. <laughs> it's gonna be minty when it's done. So anyways. Now the business. This week I thought I'd chat about another band. It's called Steam Power Giraffe. Uh, basically, um, they're kind of like the mummies, but instead of mummies, they're robots, basically, or mines, or kind of mixture, I guess. And yeah, this band's probably my favorite steampunk band out there so far. I mean, there are other steampunk bands. Well, I don't know if one or one called um, Abbey Park. And I don't really care for them as much. They're kind of lame. I mean, not to say I, hate them, I, just, I just don't care for them. So, yeah. Um, Steam Power Draft. When I first discovered these guys, they originally had like four members in the band. Um, the Spine, played by David Bennett. Rabbit, played by Christopher Bunny Rabbit, but they prefer his bunny for some reason. The John, and um, Upgrade. I don't know the real names of those last two. So, the only thing I don't really like about this band is um, they actually reveal the real identities. Hence, I know their names. And it kind of ruins the storyline to a, you know, kind of a, like a, you know, the minds, they don't reveal their real identities because I kind of like the mystery behind it gives it a story and background. Which, on um, the robots actually got their own personas, which is pretty cool. And, well, actually, yeah, yeah, they do got their own stuff, but I, I don't know particularly what the background is. I mean, I haven't listened for a while now, but like, I don't really pay attention to that much, because I like the moments more. So, yeah. The John and Upgrade are no longer with the band. I mean, Upgrade's been gone for quite a while now. And uh, the John recently left a few, about uh, a year ago or so. Commitment issues I guess and I'm um, upgrade left to pursue an like an acting career. But yeah, it's a very good band. Steampunk. They, they, they tell stories in their in their um, act. Which I kinda like actually they they you know tell um, random stuff like what they do off the show or whatever. Like one Mercy Tolster or one had a fair or with an oven. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up, I guess. But yeah, they got three albums out. Um, one's called Two Cents Show. Uh, one's called MK3, I think. That, that's the newest one. And one's called... Hold on, I'm gonna look them up right here. Yeah, I'm gonna resort to the internet. I'm kind of cheating here a little bit.
Yeah, one's called Album One. That's what it's called. And I don't think they. They, they don't got their new album yet on Spotify yet. But. Well, so far, some of the new songs are pretty cool. And one. This is an older song called. It's called Honeybee. I'm not gonna play it due to, due to copyright issues. And yeah, it's called Honeybee, and that's probably what their number one song is. And they actually got a cool video of it on, like on, a, on San Diego. They t think it takes place on a sandy beach or whatever. And they actually move. It's really cool that this band actually moves like robots. It's very like. <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah. I was trying to do it one day to just to pour up the you know, press a little bit, but I can't do it at all. <laughs> one of these days I might learn how to do it. For my own steampunk persona, which I'm going to create one of these days. And I don't think I can come up with one yet, but I'm trying to. So yeah. I, if you like steampunk, or you like storytelling and flame bands, I highly recommend Steam Power Giraffe. And, and they got a cool songs called Honeybee, Automatic, Electronic Karmics, Brass Goggles, Electricity's in My Soul, Juju Magic, Captain Alexander, that's a good one. It actually tells a story in that one, which is pretty awesome. I had to be in that one. You gotta be on YouTube of um, the rabbit American Ashley like Captain. I'm gonna say it pretend to be a mime. So, yeah, they were still playing at the San Diego Zoo a few years ago. I mean, I don't know if they still do or not. Kind of, kind of grown a little bit since then. I mean, they're just doing it to just get spare change or whatever. Which I'm pretty surprised. They, they have more friends on their Facebook page now than the Mugs do on their page. Which I never thought that would happen. I, mean, I thought the Mugs would always be better than them. Which I still, in my opinion, I think they, the Mugs are, but Steam Power Drive is a cool band. And I'm not going to hand on them or express my own opinion on them. It's still a cool band. I'm not, I'm not putting any hate out there. So yeah. I think that's about it right now. So, anyways. Um, some more business. Um, I changed my Facebook page. I gave it a new name called um, the Steampunk Workbench. I'll post the link of it below. And um, if you're on Tumblr, follow me. And um, if you like my videos, um, like, subscribe, favorite, or whatever anyone does on this channel or YouTube. <laughs> and um, I'll post some more videos in the near future, or next week, hopefully. I don't know what I'm going to talk about yet. I mean, I will talk about my guns eventually, but not now because it's too cold out. Because I'm going to be showing them off my garage, and it's too cold right now. <laughs> I don't really like that, that white stuff outside right now. Snow. <laughs> yeah. Um... Maybe next week I might talk about a book, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. So yeah, I hope you have a good holiday, and um, enjoy your weekend, and Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and, and Happy Holidays to everyone, and enjoy. See ya. Peace.